The new Top Screen Basketball is finally here, and with that is the new Retail Value Blaster Box format. We have five for our review today. If you guys like these and you want to see more like it, especially retail, drop a like, subscribe, help us do so much more. Maybe six, maybe 10, 20 boxes next time, you name it. But appreciate all your support, and with that is some giveaway action. So we have multiple giveaways. The first one, like, sub, comment, and that's for YouTube-only giveaway for a hobby box of Top's Chrome. And that stuff's been amazing. We ripped cases on whatnot, and you saw our video a few days ago. It's been one be dollars galore for everyone. It's been absolutely nuts. So that is hopefully going to be what we see here today. Who knows? And then we also have Select Football, another big release this week, which was Wednesday. Kind of went under the radar because Tops had their big releases this week as well. But for Select Football, giving away the packs from a hobby box in our streams to enter, like, subscribe, follow me on the free app, whatnot, during a live stream when it's time. We go live for auctions, breaks, giveaways, you name it. Links down below are $15 off. And all the cards from this opening and all our recent videos will be in our next singles auction, which is tonight. And link down below is $15 off once again. So there we go. And here is Topps Chrome. So I hope it's really good. The big chase is autographs though. So I'm wondering, is this stuff going to be up to par? Because I think a lot of us enjoyed the hobby and the delight, but those had autographs. These are kind of parallel centric and then unlicensed. So I don't know. Initially, I'm like, uh oh, but let's see. So here is the details. It's actually pretty short and sweet. It's actually a lot shorter than I thought it'd be. There's the size of the boxes. They don't put it on the box like Panini, but you can scan a little code. But here's the details. 30 bucks, you can get it at Fanatics. You can get it from Walmart, from GameStop, your LCS, you name it, all over the place. There's four cards per pack, seven packs per box, and 40 box cases. So 20 more, double the size than Panini's one. And then you get, uh, where is it? Uh, right here. Five refractors per value box. That is the guarantee here. So there's refractors, there's exclusive parallels in pink. There's also green and short print pink basketball. Now those are, I think, one in 39 for pink basketball, the shorter printed ones. The others are one in four packs. They do give the odds, thankfully. You can get super fractures, but that's like one in a billion. So not that bad, but tough to pull. Inserts, there's some exclusive ones. So look for, there's sudden impact. There's also film study. And some are the same, some are different, I believe. There's also power boosters, round ball, royalty, and DNA. And actually, I think they're all different. Never mind, my bad. But yeah, plus parallels we named earlier. Autograph, they're certified. That's where it repeats. Uh, future stars with pink parallels and in theory you can get lebron autographs one in two to five hundred thousand packs so i got like 35 here let's see if we can do it and uh auto chase is big here and i feel like that's not going to be up to par with the hobby and the delay one so let's see and here we go box number one tops chrome basketball very exciting time what a week in sports cards let's see if we can pull something nice I hope we're impressed here. I'm very curious where the price settles at for the Wemby's in here that's not autographed, the Scoots, the Millers, because they have licensed kind of not autographs. So Top and Fanatics have many of these rookies exclusive in autograph form. And that's why this stuff is so big. Retail is by far the most affordable. Hobby and Breakers Delight, very expensive. So are those cards that everyone wants in here? Let's see. Once again, if you enjoy retail and you want to see more reviews, especially five plus box reviews, just like and subscribe. Press those buttons down below is free and help us do more. Then do that plus comment a little pattern here. Or the scoot. And you're entered for the YouTube only giveaway for the hobby box. I like this picture of Tops Chrome. We also have a select giveaway. All the information down below in the description. They have a Tops little logo on these, actually, interestingly enough. So it's not just standard green. Russell Westbrook. Okay, looks cool. What do you guys think? And yes, yeah, select hobby box. It's same first two steps, but follow whatnot journal action wins time. Going live for a lot of fun stuff like singles auction tonight. And that's where cards like this will be available. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I. I don't hate it. I don't know if I'm neutral or just like it with the whole kind of logo going down the card. You guys tell me. I'm kind of neutral now. Maybe it grows on me. Panini has done that before as well, so not a huge shocker. And yeah, I mean, retail is retail. Often it's a little shaky, but can they add some value in here? So one question. Someone recommended this in our last stream. Do you want to see retail versus hobby for this set with one hobby box versus the equivalent of retail? Here's another green. It'd be fun. It'd be expensive. But it'd be fun. So yeah, like, he has his Panini rookies, which are licensed. If we're getting these, to be honest, big print line there, I'm not as 
excited about them. It's just kind of the autographs. They can composite from yesterday with Stroud and Bryce and all those guys. There's a, right now, better alternative, which is why, oh, something here. Let's see, what is that? With the um, retail, I'm a little less excited just because I know getting an autograph will be tough, but we will try. There's Wade Wunningham, sudden impact pink or refractor. Hmm. Okay. Looks cool. Seeing it for the first time. A little explosive kind of design. A little comic theme maybe. Um, I don't know, a little glitch in the font. Looks okay. This clowny pink. All right. All right. Let's continue. Start speeding up a little bit because we have a lot of these. So we have some base. There's round ball royalties to bonus. Okay, like Crown Royale in a way? I don't know. Yeah, all right. And Chris Paul Pink. All right. For 30 bucks. I don't know. There's very high ceiling, but it is so narrow. Very tough to hit those big cards. And that's really all we want. So, so go classic. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Next one up. Now, if you pulled something good from these, please do let me know. Tops Retail is known for being better than Panini. Although, if I read the odds correctly, these aren't like the Topps Chrome, say like baseball, where you can pull just anything. They have made this a little similar to Panini, where, oh, there's Wemby. Well, 51-49 centering, but we got them. Uh, where it's exclusive parallels and a couple kind of narrow ceilings, which Panini doesn't always have. Anthony Black, green. All right, let's leave it up. There we go, there's one. And parallel rookie. Insert, fine. One more. The auto chase continues because box one did not have one. At the end, vote for the winner down below. Not gonna separate them. I just wanna pull a nice autograph. I think the odds are not in our favor, but it is the effort that counts. There we are. And I'm curious. One thing I noticed with uh, Bowman U, which I opened a ton of, same, obviously, manufacturer. I noticed the odds, well, on paper, look daunting. When you kind of do, say, a retail versus hobby, it didn't look too bad. I never answered the question of were Wemby autographs in blaster boxes, but if they were, and it was all the same kind of chances, on paper, that was probably better, especially now, given the price difference. So... I mean, maybe. I didn't add it up, but these could be if you grab... What I plan to do is grab, I don't know, 15, 16 blasters versus a hobby box. That could be maybe better. Will I pull two autographs? Will one be good? I don't know. Because I feel like in a hobby box, one of those autographs usually is pretty decent in this stuff. Now, in retail, not the same, maybe. Brandon Miller. Nice. And Joel Embiid. Next pack. There'll be a lot more formats. I think there's monster boxes. There's hanger boxes. There's a bunch of stuff. And we have something here. Let's see. All right. Okay. Oh, is it film study? Film study. I mean, it looks good. One thing I was saying as I was chatting with some people in the comments of... Was it yesterday's composite video? I think it was. Is... While I'm not a huge collector of stuff like this, except for those autographs, because that's the only option, when they do get the license, I'm pretty optimistic. Anthony Black. I like the designs I'm seeing. And Chet. Next pack. Looks decent so far. My only complaint with this stuff, obviously, they did what they could. When this is licensed, those will be a lot better. And make everything a possibility in here. That's one thing that they get so much praise for is you can pull those crazy cards and you still can hear the LeBron and the super factors are possible, but and autographs, the other number cards are not. There's the bonus. There are parallels, but not the standard hobby ones. Next one so far, about what I expected, unfortunately. And hopefully that changes, but 
I'm not holding my breath. Here's some more packs. Is that all of them? I don't think so. I think this is hiding some of my packs. Maybe this is the specially marked separated autograph pack. Both of them. Whoa, guys. We're starting with these ones. All right. Imagine I call my shot. I'm never going to hear the end of it. I think I didn't. Yeah, no. Absolutely not. Okay. Good fun. This is the pack with the green in it. And KG. Yeah. Okay. In some of these pictures, they do a good job hiding the kind of no logo, but in some of them it is very blatant, like that KG. Another green. And Vince Carter. So to be fully honest, I ordered eight in the order I made for these. That was the max. Things off Fanatic site. Then I ordered some from GameStop. I ordered for all over the place. I want to see which one would come first. Ultimately, it didn't really matter because I ended up doing composite yesterday instead. So yeah, but oh wow! All right. Well, hey, I was uh, doubting them. I was talking negatively, saying I didn't think they had it in them, but I lose. All right. You got me, Tops. Man. Ah, I was proven wrong. Great. They won't do it again, will they? I'd be so upset if they gave me like a Wemby Auto and proved me wrong twice in one video. They shouldn't do that. But that's a big dub, a Jemski autograph. All right, well, okay. Good job. I lose. I mentioned when I do these videos without the stand, I move it one inch to the left. Well, here it is. We got it. There we go. Not in focus, but he's there watching over us. How about that? The odds were not in our favor. Pajemski autograph. That is a dub considering who signs in this stuff. All right. Sweet. I'm pretty happy. Not only did I not see that one coming, but I also thought if I did get an autograph, it would be, you know, you see our pinny openings like Kelly Olenek, you know? So, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's slow down. I thought that was a red, for example. Um, like that thing. Yeah, that tricked me. They got me good. Good job. Hey, I'm a happy camper. I've been made whole. Thank you. But to continue what I was saying is I ordered from all the retailers when they, uh, I guess, open orders just to see which one would come first. And the Fanatics order came first, I think it was. And um, yeah, but I ended up posting it yesterday anyway because I did composite. So ordered a bunch of these. I was going to do eight. I don't remember Marcus Smart ever wearing a Grizzly jersey with a buzz cut unless I miss some games and Clark. Uh, but I didn't think we needed eight. I think five was the appropriate number. So this is one of the few times where I have the boxes and I decided not to. I think this is a pink basketball. Here we go, fellas. Wow, the loaded boxes. Oh my goodness. There's film study Curry. Come on. Rookie. Give me rookie. Even better. Short print Josh Giddy. One in um 39 packs. Wow. There he is. Mr. Giddy. Chicago's superstar. The greatest Chicago Bull of all time. We did it. That was a great box. Excellent box. So that's the short print parallel. That's the best one you can get in the base sets. Green, pink, pink basketball, and refractor. Now the inserts will have those parallels as well. And you can get the super refractors and LeBron. If you actually pull one, please let me know. Tag me and stuff like that. I'd love to see it. Please record it. Well, actually, you can't. No, you're going to pull it till I guess after, but take a picture. I don't know. I'd love to see it. Is it possible? Can it be done? That might be one of the best blaster pulls in the history of blaster pulls if you somehow do that. I do remember, obviously not the hottest player anymore. Is it the Wander Platinum? I think was pulled from Walgreens or something like that. And I know the Halliburton 101. I've seen that pulled in our Discord. So, retail has some magic. Most retail pulls are never caught on camera, obviously, because, you know, ripping the car or something like that. I do that all the time. But definitely a share picture. It's so cool to see it. That was a hot pack. Next one. All right. And Timmy Allen. I got in the habit of recording 
almost every open I do. I open a ton off camera, but I'll have a little phone just propped up. That's why if you see my Instagram, a lot of those big polls I get, it's just the face cam and you can't actually see the cards because I'm not actually doing a video, but in case I pull something, I want to catch my reaction. I've done it a few times with a Bronny autograph and some others. But Jemski again, hey, there you go. And Clark, sweet. Last packs of second to last box and oh, is that my favorite film study? Or maybe not. Okay. That looks like maybe DNA. Okay, there's Mr. Grady. There's Gafford. Maybe Victor. No. Oh, hey, you know, that's pretty cool, actually. I like this one. It's a bonus times two. I think it's DNA, right? Yeah, DNA. Cool. Nice card. Um, yeah, the jerseys don't look great. <laughs> but what are you going to do? I knew I was buying, so... And you know what? I also didn't know I was buying autograph season. Panini literally, I don't know the last retail pull I've gotten of that caliber from Panini Retail, so I'm having a good time. It's a rare retail dub today. All right, next one. All right, last one. And green, Marcus Smart. That looks cool. That looks like, um, ooh, what's it called? Wildfire, I think it is, from uh, Game of Thrones. That's cool. All right, there we go. When they have the license, oh my goodness, we're going to be in deep doo-doo because there'll be a 40-box opening. Whether you guys want to see it or not, even the comments say, I think five's enough, we're doing 40. We're doing 40. We're chasing that, um, actually not in the box, but, you know, we want more pink basketballs. Uh, LeBron autograph, super fracture. Okay, here we go. Let's see, last box. Can we hit one more? Nah, I don't want to get greedy, but let's take a look. Okay, Shaq. We're back to square one. Can we hit from this box? The final run of packs. Better than I thought. Is that the easiest pull to get? No, so one thing to keep in mind. And I don't collect Pajemski, so if you want that card, I'll probably run it in tonight's auction. Green again. The greens have not been hitting, unfortunately. Last few. So far, no complaints, so let's just see what we can get to close. Trace. Walker. Okay, next pack. Come on. Give us one walk-off card right here. Okay, power boosters. I don't know if that's rare or not because that's the only one we got in this opening. I feel like we saw multiple of all the others. They don't say. So, yeah, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's a little less common. Jill and Clark. And final pack. If you guys enjoyed this video, you want to see more, including the other formats of Topps Chrome Basketball this year as they release, including Panini Retail and Topps Composite Retail, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Press those buttons down below. And then do that. And also comment because I'll enter you into the Top Screen Basketball Hobby Box giveaway. So imagine this, but guaranteed autographs and numbered cards and all that stuff. Here we go. And then once again, tonight, big auction featuring all these cards and cards from recent videos. And then we'll also have a select giveaway on whatnot. Steps down below in the description. Oh, that's a nice card to close, honestly. Sweet. Power Boosters Curry. Here we go. I believe this set has his first super fractors that have surfaced when they get pulled, if they get pulled, because the 2009 rookie super fractor was never pulled. So, well, he's never surfaced. So, yeah, that's one thing to note. But that was a good opening for this stuff, honestly. I do wish they were cheaper. Obviously, I wish they had the license and had all the other numbered cards. That's about my complaints. Pulling 1B be big. We saw a little bit of 1B action. 
is everything we got. So, what, $150? Yeah. All right. Not incredible, but not bad, all things considered. Got an autograph. I don't know if that's the norm or not, but we got one. And a whole bunch of other, you know, cool stuff. There's Wemby. So we got one. The base. And some pinks and some greens and you name it. This scoop. So. Oh, and also. Autograph. Sweet. Successful opening. We did it. We actually did it. So. I'm happy with what I got. Pajemski Future Stars. Rookie Autograph. Wemby. This is not SSP, but like SP. Josh Giddy. And that concludes the Retail Blasters. I'll have the other formats as well. So make sure you stay tuned. And. Yeah, I won't give like an exact rating just because we don't have anything to compare it to really, but I think they're just solid. They aren't as exciting, especially compared to Hobby. We'll do Retail versus Hobby if you guys want to see that one. I feel like that could be definitely interesting to see. That many Blasters versus one Hobby box. I just feel like there's a lot of the same, and if you're not pulling you know, this, which you got lucky, definitely lucky with, it can be a little bit of a you know drier opening, and they don't have all those number cards like in the baseball ones. So that's my thoughts. I've opened a lot of Bowman, for example, uh, basketball and baseball. I saw just a lot of sick stuff, and I don't see that as a possibility here, given the checklist. So that's just my thoughts. But it's a fun set overall, and there's potential for some big-time hits. So hopefully you guys get them. Comment down what you pulled and your thoughts on this product. But those guys, thank you as always for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you later.